that ye have suffered a while. Make you perfect, established, strengthen, settle you. You may be seated. I want to talk to you just for just for a few moments if I'm if I'm able to do so I want to talk to you from this particular topic God's strategy for your suffering about about gentleman who was a great composer he says he says that he went to hear a young girl that everybody was talking about singing and he went to hear her and her voice was so clear she was so amazing and so phenomenal her pitch was perfect uh, she was she was clear in her voice and everybody walked away shaking their head and saying uh, she's going to be wonderful what a wonderful phenomenon she's going to be and, and 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 the old composer said he said well she'll be all right after she's been hurt because there's something about somebody that's been through the storm and i know I know you want God to bless you. And I see you running around the church. And I see you shouting on Sunday morning. But when I watch you shout, I wonder if you're shouting from your pain. Because it's a different kind of shout from somebody that knew if it had not been for the Lord that was on your side. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Every time I hear a preacher preach, I can tell whether or not you've been through the storm and the rain. Every time I hear sing a sing, I can tell whether you've been through some hard times. It's a different tone in your voice. When you stand up, you speak it out of your heart, but the tone in your voice is laced with sorrow. Do you hear what I'm saying? Every time when you come to church, it's so easy for you to stop coming when you want to. But when somebody been through hell and hot water, they show up in the house and they praise God way before they get here. They don't need no dancers. They don't need no organ. They don't need no drums. They don't need nobody to tell them that God is worthy to be praised. All, all they need is to think about how good God been to them. And they open up their mouths and shout glory. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me for a long way. Touch your neighbor, shout neighbor. I'm glad to be in the house. If it had not been for God, I don't know where I would be. Somebody throw your hands up, throw your head back, give God's name a praise at your belly because He's worthy. Somebody open up your mouth and say it. Worthy. Grab somebody by the hand. Tell them He's worthy to be praised. I came by to tell you, no matter what you're going through, He's able to bring you through that thing. Don't worry about it. He's got power. Somebody shot power. He's got power. 
power. Don't you worry about it. I know you're going through hell and high water. I came by here to remind you that the God that you serve will neither leave you nor forsake you. I came by here to tell you to hold your head up and don't let nobody bother you. Know what God's capable of doing. He'll bring you through. I don't care about the fire. I don't care what it burns. I don't care what it looks like. Stand still and see the salvation of God. Somebody said glory to his name. His name is worthy to be praised. I heard Peter say, after you suffered, good God from Zion. It scared me at first. I said, I got to suffer for a little while. I got to go through stuff for a little while. But I stand still and watch God bring me through. Everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Grab your neighbor. I feel like preaching here. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Say, no matter what you're going through, the God that we serve wouldn't put no more on you than you're able to bear. So if you're going through it, you got power to handle that thing. He wouldn't send you through it if you can handle what it was. That's why we ought to praise him in spite of how we feel. Praise him in spite of what they say. Praise him in spite of what they do. It won't be long. 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 It won't be